All right, guys. <laughs> Apologies for the intro. Got these slippers at Christmas. Just wanted to have some fun with them. Um, as you can see, Darth is buzzing with the fish room. So <laughs> let's get this video going. We're going to take you through every single tank that we've got in the fish room. That is two 55s and two 40 gallon breeders. So let's take a look. Really, really happy with this setup so far. Absolutely loving it. Lost no fish bringing them over, which is the main thing. And so first off in this video, we're gonna take a look at the bottom 55 gallon. This tank is run by three sponge filters. So it is a really simple setup. Heater is just keeping this tank at around 78 degrees. We've got some black substrate from PetSmart or Petco, I believe, just the simple stuff and then some Crazy simple decorations, literally anybody could do this tank, but overall, I'm really happy with it and I think it looks pretty cool. Stocking in this tank, we've got a rainbow shark. This guy is knocking on now, he's probably about six years old, I wanna say. And then we've got my blood pirate, Bubba, who's been with us for around the same length of time, uh, maybe about six years. Then we've got two marbled angelfish, a blue Akara. The blue Akara is absolutely awesome. Um, and I'll actually overlay a picture that I took of the blue Akara the other night. Really, really love this fish and he's been growing nicely recently, which is awesome. Lastly, we've then got a red spot Severum. This guy has also been increasing in size recently. And as you can see, they're all eating pretty good. The tank above then contains South American fish. As you can see, the setup in here is really, really simple. It is being lit by a Phoenix 24-7 light fixture that I had on the previous 125. And in this tank, we've got eight angelfish, around 19 black neon tetra, a Bolivian ram, and then a Siamese algae. And overall, this tank was smooth sailing, took me about 15 minutes to set it up. It's currently being run on an aquarium cope sponge filter in the far left corner. A normal sponge filter that was in the 125 in the middle and then we've also got an fx6 i understand this is absolute overkill i have got it restricted in this tank so it's not like an absolute whirlwind and it seems to be doing pretty good now as you can see it's not firing out on all cylinders like it usually would if it weren't restricted tank has been kept again at 78 79 degrees and these fish are killing it Really like this simple setup and hopefully we'll get some plant growth while we're here as well. We are only going to be here in this apartment for around four or five months, but this will certainly do for a temporary setup for the time being. As you can see, all the fish are eating and doing really well. I especially love the Bolivian ram since he's been in here. He's really colored up. And again, I'll overlay some photos that I took the other night of him that I'll be posting on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on there, check it out at Cichlidscape. So yeah, loving this tank and super pumped that I didn't lose any of the black neons because a big school of them in any tank just looks awesome in my opinion. Going down now, the bottom 40 gallon is my blue neon group. In here, we have about eight or nine females and then two males. The bigger dude, as you can see, is still struggling with a swim bladder issue. I've tried everything um, known to man to try and treat him at this point. I recently did a, a video on it, maybe a few months back. But besides that, he's doing really good. Um, he's eating like a champ. I'm been, I've tried to feed him a little bit more, hoping that that might help. Um, but besides that, he's, he's doing just fine. The other male in here that's actually his son is looking brilliant too. Um, and again, lost no fish when I was moving these over, which I was really excited about. And I've actually had two females holding since I've been in here. But at this time, I just simply have nowhere to put the fry. So I'll just be letting nature take its course. And if any survive, then brilliant. Um, but yeah. These guys still all eating. I'm feeding a mixture of flake and pellets to these. 
In this tank, additionally, I've also got a Cynodonus catfish. Rarely see that dude apart from when I feed, so hopefully I'll be able to overlay some footage in a minute. He usually comes out one to two minutes after a feeding and just kind of scurries around the bottom of the substrate just to kind of mop up. Um, but he's a really, really cool fish and I'm definitely interested in keeping more of them at some point. And as you can see, he's, uh, he's pretty cool. So there's the blue neon group, really excited to get breeding those again soon when we get into the house and I can build my permanent setup. On top of this tank, we've got an island aquascape that again is just a super simple setup. I've got one sponge filter in here and then one hang on the back. This hang on the back is filled with a lot of the bio media that I took from the Sunsun 304B that were filtering the 125. So in terms of the cycle and beneficial bacteria, I'm absolutely golden. In here, we've got my three Praycox rainbow fish, one pearl garami, two empire gudgeons, a bristle nose pleco, and then the star of the show, this angel fish, who I just think is absolutely awesome. Really, really like this guy. And he, he almost has a natural color to him. And this is something that I want to get more of in the future. And then I almost forgot I actually have the other Siamese algae in here as well that you just saw. The tank in general is just really, really simple. The vast majority of the plants in here are easy to maintain and easy to grow plants like Anubius, Java Fern, um, some Crips, and then the Dwarf Aquarium Lily in the back. And this thing I took directly from the 125. And as you can see, it is absolutely huge. It's overhanging the full tank. Um, and just looks awesome in my opinion. Really sets off the tank and how I wanted it to look. But my main love in this tank is the angelfish. Pretty sure he's a silver angelfish. Um, his bands tend to dull and then come back really, really strong, um, depending on how he's feeling, uh, I guess on his aggression level and, and that kind of thing, maybe. Um, but yeah, really, really like this tank. Really like how it's set up and how it's looking right now. I probably will do a setup video on this tank um, at some point because I believe I did get some footage of it but overall just really really happy with how this turned out and the fish in here all seem to get along and the kind of coloration and the body shapes and that kind of thing that you can see in here is just awesome um, I might get a little school for this tank and potentially move some of the Harlequin Rasboras over from the 10 gallon aquascape that you saw in uh, my little intro um, or I might just get some other fish. So if you've got any recommendations or advice on what you would get for this tank, please let me know in the comments. And while we're here, we may as well feed this tank and we might even get a glimpse of the Tuamano shrimp that I've got in here as well. So there's the 40 gallon and the rest of the tanks in the fish room. I hope you've enjoyed this video and taken a look at the four new setups. Overall, I'm really, really happy with how this room turned out, seeing as though it is only a temporary setup. And most of all, I'm just buzzing with the fact that I didn't lose any fish at all during this move. Um, and that's, you know, the main thing for me and was the main focus during this move. If you've liked this video and you like this content, please make sure to hit subscribe down below so you get notified of every time we upload a new video. I am going to be doing in-depth looks at every single one of these tanks in the near future. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. Thanks for your support. I hope your 2020 was a good one and let's make 2021 a successful one for all. One of the quotes that I actually shared on my Instagram the other day was thoughts become things and that's something I'm definitely going to focus on this year. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this one. I appreciate the support and we'll see you on the next one.